Hey guys, it's FE1 and I'm back. Welcome to part 2 of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And, um, yeah, uh, just getting back. Uh, if, if the brightness is a bit off, I uh, had to move it to check the video to see if it had any stuff ups at all. So, the brightness might vary from video to video, but I'm pretty sure you got that until in the future, maybe. So, here we go. So, we got Link and we got a stick. So, at the moment, we're not doing very well. So, just walk around. Ooh. See that? See that? See that red thing down there? See it? Yeah, be very quiet. Be very quiet. Ooh. Ooh. What's that? Acorn. Doesn't give me that much health. That's pretty bad. I got that! Oh, no! That was horrible. In my head, I played it out that I was going to get it. I was, like, really excited, but... No? Okay. So, another thing you guys probably know, but if you crouch down by, as I said before, pushing in the pushing in the left Joy-Con, if you're using Joy-Cons, and then if you press X, you, um, yeah, you do a little... A little stealthy hop. So, yeah. Okay. That was a bit of a bummer, I was really hoping we'd get that, but at least we got some apples. So I'm going to show you a trick when you're collecting apples. Oops. Because most people don't uh, just cut it down with a tree, I cannot get it at the moment. But what you want to do is you want to do backflip and then you get it. Possibly it looks cool, it's like cool style, point, style points. Whee! Okay. So, uh, if you guys didn't, can't tell already, but... In the top left corner, those red things, of course, are my hearts, so that's my health. And the uh, green thing that slowly depletes when I run is my stamina. And I'm going to be maxing out my stamina first because on my own playthrough, I maxed out my hearts. And just to let you guys know, you can have a max of 30 hearts, and you can have a max of uh, free stamina wheels. But it looks different to the stamina wheel that it is now. Like, it looks like... I'm not, I don't know how to explain it without, like, actually having a visual cue. Ooh! Isn't this look pretty suspicious? Okay. Let's do some Olympic diving! Whee! 10 out of 10! Yeah, ha, ha. You found me! Huh? You're not Hestu, but can you see me? I don't know your kind. Could see the children of the forest? Sorry, I took a break there. Well, if you run into Hestu, please return this to him. It's a piece of crap! This small seed was given to you by a Korok. It has a di it has distinct smell. Yeah, because it smells like poo. If you gather a bunch of them, you never know what may happen. You'll get no friends because it smells like poo. Oh, and my friends are hiding in lots of different places too. Don't be shy about poking your nose into suspicious places. I don't know why I... Oh, no, the fish. I'm doing very bad on getting things. Okay, sorry. I don't know why I chose to give my voice halfway through. It's literally... Oh, guys, look at this. Look at this. I found the master sword already. I'm better than all of you guys. Oh no, it's a rusty broadsword. Yeah, just saying I knew it wasn't the master sword. It's just a joke. Because if you actually watch the, um, on Nintendo Treehouse live at E3 2016 when they were doing this game, um, they made that joke when they got to this place and I had to make that joke because it's funny. Okay, this fearsome sword, one, one, no, this, oh my goodness. This once fearsome sword has been better de seen better days. It can do some some damage in the right hands, but it also breaks quickly. So that means it has low durability. And this is how you throw a weapon. I'll give you an example. So like this, and then you let go. But I'm not going to do it at the moment. So yeah, okay. Whee! Oh no, Link. Okay, here we go. Hopefully you don't drown like there we go. Nice, okay. Oh see see the See that right there? That's uh Book Goblin. They are probably one of the most common enemies in the game. And that's the first enemy we're gonna see in the game, but there's one that we could fight that we that's right there. We'll get him. Okay. I have an idea oh no, he saw me. I think you saw me. I'm gonna go around. I'm gonna go around and then try and get him. I'll climb the tree, you never know what's up here. I bet there's a bird nest. 
Oh, oh. Oh, I'm very lucky. I thought I was going to fall in. There we go. I'm not going to read it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. It's very weird because I'm very in my in everyone's files that when they're off the plateau, they can do something different here. I'm not gonna say what. It's not really spoilers, but still, like, you know, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't, then you've obviously haven't played this game, or you just think I sound like a blubbering idiot. And both of those are true. <laughs> that was really weird. Alright, um, I got three acorns. Oh no, our first enemy. You know what, you know what, I'm just gonna run away. And don't worry, I'm gonna fight him. I just wanna, I wanna show you guys something cool. Are you still following us? Oh my goodness he is, oh no. Yeah. Okay guys, I think I'm gonna show you now. This is a trick that speedrunners use, and lots of people use. It's called the infinite stamina cheat uh, glitch, so you... So you go forward, then you hold down, which is when Link uh, whistles, but then you hold down the stamina button, and boom, you will never run out of stamina ever again. This is really, really, really OP. Nintendo haven't uh, patched this yet, which is really good. Oh yeah, I forgot to say in the first video, but all rights go to Nintendo, and yeah, thank you Nintendo for making this game, and happy, happy first birthday Breath of the Wild again. And uh, I'm probably gonna upload these on different dates. Whenever, whenever I say um, um, I'm uploading, sometimes I usually mean I'm recording that that time. So today is, I promise, it's March third. Oops, sorry. I don't know why I did that. It's fine. I thought it would say the date, but it just said the time, so you can tell that it's late for me. There we go. People in my house are thinking about going to bed soon. Okay, how much time we got left? Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's actually just get on with the game now. But yeah, another the but a uh, bad a bad thing about when you do infinite um stamina cheat is look at the purple thing. That's your movement thing and your stealth gauge thing. But if you do this, it goes ballistic, even though you can't hear anything in the game. So like I'll be quiet. You can't hear anything. Yeah, and the thing on the other thing is the map and the the white. And the orange thing and the thing that's the weather. I need to stop saying thing. I'm sorry. Yeah. And another thing about this game that everybody loves, you can finally actually jump by pressing a button in Zelda for the first time ever. Thank you, Nintendo. It only took you nearly 30 years. I'm sorry. No, it took you over 30 years. But then again, this game was supposed to come out 2016 on the Wii U. But then again, it got delayed so many times. And when it kept getting delayed and delayed, it was so delayed. I know why I'm going up here again. I need to make com uh, progress. I nearly died then. Okay, so should I use that? I'll use the rusty board side. Okay. And sneak strike. And that's <laughs> kind of like... um. Okay, he's a Bokoblin horn. That's a bit gross, it's just severed, but it's a horn, so it's fine, yeah. That reminds me of, like, Metal Gear Solid. I don't play that game, but I know that there's stealth involved in it, and I just took that guy out, and that was pretty, pretty cool, and pretty sweet. Okay. There's another word I was going to describe it, which I'm too scared to say, but, yeah. You, you know the one. The bad, and then the word that means bottom. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know if it was this, this video or the last video, but I'm going to show you again how to, oh my goodness, uh, how to get apples. So instead of just going, ooh, oh, that actually nearly worked, but just don't do that because you need to go up here and then you want to do a backflip, backflip, then you grab it. Ooh, whoa. That was close. Oh, oh, look at this. It's a choo choo. You know what? I'm going to leave this guy alone. I'm gonna leave this guy alone. Okay. Oh, another tree branch. Nice. Okay. That sounds so joyful and not very happy. Trust me, I'm really happy. I'm playing this game in ages. Oh my god. Okay, that guy looks like he's like. Mommy! Where's my mommy? I'm adopted! 
Daddy, where's my daddy? And then was like, I'm hungry. And I think he has multiple per multiple personality disorder, unlike me. Actually, I might have it. No, I'm joking. Of course I don't. Okay. Let's sneak track him. Oh, and I failed it. Okay, this is going to be our first combat. So I'm locking on, and he's attacking me, and I'm going to show what you call a flurry rush. So you jump to the side, and then you spam. Oops, that was horrible. I'm just going to whack his bum. There we go. He's dead. And you want to spam, um, you want to spam the, um, the attack button. So the Y button, after you dodge like this, or this, or this. But you don't want to dodge like that, because that would go right into the attack. Okay, so here we are going to go here and get a chest. And I want to do this differently. I'm going to chuck some really crappy weapons at him. Oh, no. I missed. Eh. No. Okay. I'm not really good at the aiming. Eh. There we go. And then quickly grab this. This is going to be really risky. You know what? I'm just going to do it. In your head. In your head. I don't care that I'm running out of weapons. That was... Oh, no. I missed his, his weapon. Okay. So now I'm going to... And then... Hit him with a torch. I don't care. And he's dead. Nice. Okay. Ooh, it's actually a pretty good weapon there. So, a crude uh, buck up Boko club. A crude Bokoblin club made to club a small prey. It is a, it is essentially a stick, so its durability is low. That makes sense. Yeah, so, I put us at a bit of a loss chucking free sticks, but they're sticks. So, who really cares? But, you have to admit, that was quite funny how I didn't take any damage. Just chucking some sticks at his face and then pummeling him with a torch. It was great. Okay, and if you hold down the uh, spin attack and hold down that thing, you do a charge thing. But I want to show you guys a cool Easter egg. If you do a spin attack while he has run, while Link has run out of stamina, he will do like a droopy one. But I want to show you another cool thing. If you actually spin around, like walk around like this, and then you click the Y button, you will do a spin attack without even having to charge it. Not that many people know that, but I know that, and it's pretty cool. So in this gameplay, I'm going to show you guys a lot of Easter eggs, a lot of tips and tricks because I know a lot about this game. I have the guidebook. I don't use it that much, but like it helps a lot and it helps me stay on top of things if I'm ever stuck. Uh, there's a bit of lag there, but that's, everybody experiences that in the Great Plateau mostly. Okay, so I think I'm going to put on some good pants. So far, we haven't had to use any of our food yet. I still can't believe we missed that lizard. I really want to get that lizard. Sorry if the volume sounded weird. I was from a distance then. Oh, excuse me. Hmm. Right, where should we go now? Um. Actually, now I'm going to make it a cliffhanger and I'm going to end the video now. So, uh, bye guys. This is Zafi1 and I hope you enjoyed part 2 of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Let's play. Okay, bye.